This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by LRN.FM. Feds don't want you to hear them. Some New Hampshire Liberty News and commentary from people who are not me. From Lib- uh, Libertarian gubernatorial candidate Aaron Day posting on Facebook. Quote, New Hampshire drops to number two in freedom ranking. If you keep voting for the two-party system, you will get bigger government and less freedom. Unquote. Now, there has been a claim that this data is fairly old, so it's like about two years behind usually. So some folks are saying, well, you know, uh, maybe things have gotten better since then. And Day says, quote, 2017-2018 was the worst legislative session in the almost 10 years I've been here. We increased the size of government and expanded Obamacare for five years. The little wins that we chalk up don't impact the overall growth in the size of government. Spending has outpaced population growth by 30x over the past 30 years, adjusted for inflation. If we don't start looking at the overall scorecard, we're doomed. Unquote. So, I've always been a big advocate of this kind of post, because most of the time, people are not looking at the big picture, and they're not raking in all the statistics in one go. They're thinking anecdotally. I like Chris Sununu's demeanor. I'm glad he voted in favor of such and such, or that he he, uh, signed it. But really, it all comes down to litmus litmus tests that are big uh, all-inclusive statistics so for instance did the budget go up and by how much maybe there are other statistics but that's the one I think is most important and it's interesting no one's talking about that really in fact I don't even know what the numbers are in terms of how much the budget has grown under Sununu maybe you know maybe you should post it in the comment section I know it shrunk uh, for a, I guess about 10% in the 2012 era, that was when Lynch, a Democrat, was governor. Generally, it's con- the, the cuts are considered to have been driven by the Speaker of the House, Bill O'Brien. We know it can be cut, so if, uh, if Sununu is not cutting it, or if it's going up more than it did under Democrats, then he's the bad guy. <clears throat> 